Cool. We have oh. come back alive. We are not. Good. We are no longer dead. Mm -hmm. um, Thanks, Necromancy. Necrom hey, to the Necromancer who brought us back. Uh, in case you get any requests for a certain member of loyalty sometime soon, um, I'll pay you to not do that. <laughs> you don't have money. I, but what little money I have, I would spend to keep a certain bastard in the ground. What? What? He's not there yet, but I, I just gotta. I just gotta. God ask, willing. Do you think you have more money than what the orb of the sovereign is worth, Brantley? The sovereign's what? orb? No. You don't. But I thought maybe it would be like a pathetic enough offer that they might listen anyways. Dude, yeah. I would do. I would do. You. You. I would. I would. I want the sovereign's orb. Just you know the in the um to to see like ah the the peasantry has come forward with a uh with meager alms uh mayhaps I will respect this request. Um, look, I know I need to get the spin dash. I understand. Why is the spin dash 40 skill points? See, it's really good. See, why would I get the spin dash when I can get the tornado? Because the tornado doesn't, well, I guess it does roll. Yeah. Um. Here's the thing, I really, really want to grind out all these levels and get everything. But you can't unless you get that that blood moon thing. And I don't know I don't know when you get that. Fall of it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey chat, if you could steal one of the royal royal treasures of the British British royalty, what would it be? Uh, the how, how about um, King Charles' royal jewels? His dick? Uh, no, the I, I was thinking more I could link it into a prostate joke somewhere, but I might have to workshop it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, take some time to workshop your your British royal prostate joke. Yeah. Did you see the meme someone made of uh, claims to be prostate? That's <laughs> no fun. <bottom> <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. That's really good. I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing this. But if the game allows me. Oh, I'm out of I'm out Whoa. of flying power. I still think the Sovereign's Orb is the coolest thing. Just a little ball. Looks like the holy hand grenade. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. I know I know the moment I beat Tails a section. I'm going to be sent into Knuckles' section, and then I'm going to get the Starfall event, and then I'm going to not be able to use it. Why they don't have everyone share uh, things is beyond me. I have a feeling that maybe it was intended that you would have more control of the characters throughout the story, and then that didn't happen and then the post release still had to kind of cram them into a small amount of space anyways and so therefore it's like yeah the sort of imbalance of time to experience points required i'm a big fan of just tails throwing wrenches mm -hmm. i think fake ring bomb was better in terms of just wacky but it is funny. I think it never made sense because it's like, who uses rings outside of the protagonists? And like you the know? ring. So it's like, why would you? Why would you? Why does it matter that the rings are fake? Like, it could be anything that could be slamming into an enemy. It's just metal, right? Like, it might as be a, a scrap metal bomb or something like that. I do think that it is funny because, as far as I know, rings don't no longer really exist outside of gameplay anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, like in in, so yeah. in Sat AM, you have like the group of fuckers that are like, give Sonic the ring and he'll kill people. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's a direct quote. They might say destroy to keep it like PG. <laughs> hey, that's my Among Us bracelet. Ugh. God damn it! 
Yeah. Hey, make sure you report yeah. that. Report that kill. I can't hear you. I have to get the Among Us bracelet from my cat. Because she. You have to report that kill. Because I know what's gonna happen. She's gonna break the bracelet, and then all the 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 charms are gonna fall. Hell yeah, hell yeah, rookie! If you could steal one of the royal family's uh, like insanely expensive treasures, what would you steal? That. Ooh, you're cooking in the kitchen. That's excellent. When you're when you have a moment to not be cooking, tell us what you'd steal. I, I are are we cooking? Are are we cooking? Like oh, let them cook, or are you actually cooking in the kitchen? My money is my limited money is on uh, actually cooking. I I like I said I then think that cooking what? I think that the sovereign's orb is the coolest because you can ponder it. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're mm. you're just gonna steal their cards. Yeah. Oh, both. Do you think they have like a Bugatti that is just blinged the fuck out? They're like, instead of headlamps, we have emeralds. And, like that seems very dangerous, and they just hit a hit a hit a peasant anyway. <laughs> Can you imagine if cars existed in a time when like royalty was like really royal? I know they did. Like, don't get me wrong. The monarch, mm -hmm. mon most monarchs aren't dead. But I'm talking about like, like if, in other words, if, if they had say like, if it was said royalty having the driving controls, while yeah. like people would still, whoa, you kind of sunk through the floor there a little bit, while people would still walk the streets straight down the middle and like. Yeah, and like it was meant for people to walk on that as a footpath. Yeah, they just. And then you give someone who's completely incompetent a, a powerful industrial machine to drive. Yeah, it'd be a mess. So like, I know Queen Elizabeth was like famously a competent driver. Um. Uh, that sounds pretty damn good. Um. Ooh. I I yeah, would steal the, the slicing mushroom. Yes. I just steal the Sovereign's Orb, Rookie, because then I can ponder it like a wizard. And it also looks like a grenade, and I think that's pretty rad. Rookie said, Lizzie loved to whip it, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, you think... You think Q Lizzie ever hit up a Daytona USA cabinet? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, Did they still have the Scepter. The Scepter has a more. funny name, too. They all have like very, very stupid names. Yeah, uh, real talk. I don't know if you know this, but uh, Queen Elizabeth uh, did lend her voice to the Daytona uh, video game soundtrack. <laughs> I don't know if it's called the Cod Swaffler, but I love the idea if that's what we make it. All right, here we go. I'm gonna, I'm going to use this boy right here to get the tornado to see what happens. Get the jet. You want to save first, maybe? No. I don't give a shit. Points out. Okay, you gotta wait. Okay, there we go. Odd Swaller, these royal nuts. Hi, Zed. This is indeed your favorite Sonic based stream. Probably uh, even more so because we're going to be talking about Knuckles in a moment. The best part about this thing is that it does just get rid of your dash in the air. <laughs> uh, for those who may not know, a uh, trailer for the Knuckles series came out today. What? Or recently. Oh, have you not seen it? No, I've been talking to parents about their children. Okay, well then you should pause the stream and we'll have a throwback moment where we're going to do a listen along where you're going to watch it. I and can, react. Can, can I stream it? I mean, probably. I'm not gonna get in wow, trouble. Wow, this thing is fast. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, this dude, you got a jet. What on earth? <laughs> why? Why are, are we, we allowed to use this in levels? No, because only tails can't go into levels. Ugh. 
I gotta admit, why not send tails to the top of it? This is so funny. The president is just below! Come on! I'm glad that they actually committed to allowing you to fly this, like, range and everything. Well, it, it uses your boost, and I still haven't figured out what causes you to have infinite boost. I feel like it's, it's certain zones, like... See, here's the problem though. Uh, I I need. It's like, oh man, I need to boost into here. <laughs> and then you're like, oh fuck, how do you do this? <laughs> oh my god. You, oh oh hey. Yeah, it tails gets a tornado. If I get fifty, if I get fifty more points, not only can I use it to fly around, I can shoot lasers with it. Um, <laughs> the problem is it's insanely unwieldy. Here's, here's the cool thing, too. Um, they just have this now, right? Like, I hope they continue to do something with these, uh, you know, with this work that they've built. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. A lot of, a lot of fan service in, uh, in this DLC. But they didn't give Knuckles his hat, those cowards. Yeah, but it's okay they had it somewhere else that you'll see in a moment. Yeah, you can't even boost on the ground. You literally just pop into the tornado. Oh my gosh. I love this little guy. Yeah. Whomp. You did it. He solved it. All right, hold on one second. Let's let's um. Let's bring up the Knuckles, the echidna. Uh, Here, I'll send you. It, the link is in the stream chat, or I can send it to you. I got it. I got it. Okay. Okay. It's not going to be out till April, but April's just around the corner. You know what they say? <laughs> April showers brings Knuckles the Echidna. Mm -hmm. Um. Um. Yeah, it is kind of a. It's it's like a. A Western style hat, uh, with, uh little stars on the rim what or not we, the rim but the what do we use what do, you call the... what do we use the stream i can't remember hold on what's our meme layer right now let's rip oh go ahead and put it up yeah i forgot <laughs> I put this way long ago for sonic theming that's from sonic 06 let's rip. it's a line that sonic says in one of the well i think in the jungle level uh <laughs> So as I was, I put that there, and I, I wanted so badly. I was like, "Oh, we have to do this on the next stream," and then I forgot multiple times. But yeah, uh, let's rip. Um, hold on, can I? Okay, hold on. We're gonna try something. Ah. Capture specific <laughs> window. Window. Well... Ricky, no, he does not say that when he fox. Uh, he says uh uh something about pain in his bed. What were the what were the lyrics? Fuck the pain away. This is, yeah, fuck the pain away. How do I I cannot remember it was pain pain go away. What did I what did we use to capture Fox. What do we use to capture the the thing? You can use a window capture. Like, oh, it's right. fun to It's not it. that different than. Yeah, you can just make a new one. Right. And just make sure it's on a layer high enough that we can see it. Yeah, I think I did the display capture. Hey, there's something wrong happening in our viewer list right now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I see. I see two viewers. I'm assuming that they're bots, so I don't mind just calling this out. One of them is zero zero. Katie is desperate, and then another one is a desperate girl. Yeah, they're definitely <laughs> fake. Um, what was that? Because I've seen them in other streams too. Um, girl, get help. Go get help. Uh, where did I put that? I just made it and I lost it. Display capture. Here we go. No. We're doing the cool thing. We're officially becoming React streamers. They're both my best friends. <laughs> you should have introduced them sooner. 
Sorry, gentlemen. Yeah, hey, it's Streamlab. Yeah, I accidentally streamed Streamlab. Um, that was your one chance to look at all of our uh, our mess of layers. Window capture. Okay. Let's put this below our game capture window. There we go. Oh. All right. Uh, uh. Uh, knuckles. All right, here we go. Time for your. Oh, it, by the way, it starts loud, so you might want to cut that volume down a little bit. Cut it down. All right, here we go. You're an All right. You're super powerful. Recently saved the world with your friend. What do you like to do for fun? The vengeance. Fuck yeah. I was thinking more like reading or, or, or yoga. <sighs> ah, it's funny. He's a hothead. Hey, buddy. Isn't it great to finally relax? I am an echidna warrior. I only remain on Earth because I made a vow to you and the fox. So I made myself at home. Nope, we are not turning our living room into some kind of gladiator fighting pit. What is Ozzy doing here? He will be challenging his greatest enemy. The vacuum. Oh no! Oh god! Is that our mailman? <laughs> yeah, that's 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 this Idris Elba. Place of battle. So I will begin my quest. Yes, we're gonna come, weed. Most people think I'm a joke. I do not make jokes. I make warriors. Oh. Go get him. Knuckles. Without his little friend, he's vulnerable. He's the key to all my newest creation. You worked for Robotnik. Bring me Knuckles. Sorry, this lane is reserved. You think you can take my power? Do I look like I mean your power? What are you talking about? Of course you need his power. It's the whole reason we're here. The mind. I made a promise to protect this planet. I am ready. Oh snap! Someone's about ESPN to get ate the slapped. Ocho. That's a fucking dodgeball reference. Six episode of them. I think today is gonna be a beautiful day. Hmm? Oh, poor guy. Are you gonna rescue him? No, he must learn to rescue himself. Alright, we did it. We did it. Um Yeah, indeed, Scott, they they have learned sort of just not to not to fuck with this stuff too bad just just transplant current and past concepts into new context Darn. and that weakened him. there you go it's still holding on to the emeralds uh i like the part where he uh he punched out towards two rings because the two rings are going to land on his two knuckle spikes yeah. I told you this is better than the spin dash. <laughs> oh god. You got me. So what do you think? Uh it looks cheesy and goofy, but I think that's that's what you gotta do. Yeah. You know? I'm surprised that they pulled so much of the movie cast back for the series. You think James Marson's there? Do you think he's too busy being on Jerry? <laughs> you think that's why? You think that's why he? Uh, you think that's why he couldn't do jury duty? Because I mean, that's why he can't be in it because he got stuck <laughs> yeah. on jury duty. That was that was his big. Mm -hmm. Knuckles, um... No, no. Okay, so Knuckles, Knuckles was never an idiot. He wasn't an ididiot so until like One recently. 
Yeah. Uh, like, um, it, at in the beginning, Knuckles was he he was like overly serious, but kind of gullible, where like his his willingness to protect the Master Emerald uh, and to uh, fulfill his duties meant that um, Robotnik could basically just tell him, "Oh, hey, Sonic is your enemy. He wants uh, the emeralds." Uh, he wants your Master Emerald, he's gonna take it from you. Uh, and he could just sick Knuckles on Sonic that way. Um, and then from there, like, they they kind of kept his, you know, his seriousness, but as, as more characters had to get involved in things, they, to preserve some of that, like, gullible sort of, uh, part of it, they kind of made him a little thick. But then the more he was away from, like, central plot stuff, um, it just kind of became a general, oh, he's, he's not all that bright. Um, like, so, like, he ends up sort of fumbling things around, or, like, in Sonic 06, you know, Sonic will throw him a card and he'll accidentally, uh, you know, not catch it with his big mitten hands, or, um... In in Sonic Generations, he's kind of a kind of a goof. Um, Sonic Boom Knuckles is definitely where they like jump the shark. Where it's he, a like, major he's a meathead. Yeah, um, which like you know they they still try to do some things with it, but it is that's like the the most egregious I think it's been. Um, so. In some ways, he, the this movie Knuckles is not so far off from the other ones, uh, other Knuckles we've seen, but it is still like, I I do think it's warranted to say that, you know, it's it's kind of a different Knuckles. It, it's it's basically Guardians of the Galaxy Drax. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He he's not like Sonic Adventure Two Knuckles, who's kind of like this noble. Yeah. Yeah, let me yeah. agree. Yeah, you know, like, um, yeah, like, uh, Sonic and Knuckles still had kind of a healthy rivalry going on, and then, um, now it's, uh, you know, the, um, the Tyson Hesse comic that got dubbed onto YouTube where it's like you know, Knuckles you know say like Eggman you take my emeralds and stuff like that like it's that's kind of um you know where can I find this eggs man that, that's a little bit of what the, the movie version is is yeah he's sort of he's not like. he's not an idiot he's just he doesn't know the social graces of everything. It's like a fish out of water type thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it yeah. is a different kind of knuckles. There we go. It's time. Time for an hour of this. Nice. Now I have to see. When's the so that's coming out late April. Um, what's the? Just the okay. So the third Sonic the Hedgehog movie is not coming out till the end of this year. I was wondering if they were gonna go out side by side. Well, no, that's good. I bet. I bet. Like I said, I bet we'll get. Weird. Okay, interesting. Uh, for some reason. Um, I bet we'll get Rouge in. God damn it. Just when you got done with the other characters. Can I switch right now? Uh. You can try. How do you switch? What's the what's the 
you know, if you're not seeing it, you probably can't switch yet. <laughs> I remember, you know what, I think it's that you have to beat the fifth tower or something like that. I thought it was something, so like, been following the Chaos pretty far trail, out. And Knuckles is here for the ruins, but what's Big doing here? I mean, here we go. There's anything wrong with just going fishing. Fishing? If you are talking about the purple portals, those are not real locations. They are a type of cyberspace recreated from your memories. I am not picking up any signals like those of the doctors or your friends from those no. areas. <laughs> big the cat that you saw is most probably an illusion recreated from your memory. The fact that you were able to converse with the illusion and believe it was real speaks of how vivid a memory you have of him. Normally, traveling between spaces is said to cause a feeling of danger at such a level that even you would be able to pick up on it. He's imagining big, big to cope. It feel dangerous, but it's good to know that the real big is out there, safe in the jungle somewhere. Hold on one second. I'm getting a call. I'm gonna be back. Mm. I'll talk to people. Yeah, that's a good question. How sexy do you think they will stretch Rouge? I'm gonna say, uh, no cleavage. Pro probably at least a little like shapely, but. Not, not like, yeah, probably bodysuit. Like, um, I I would not doubt it if they did some kind of joke where like one of the one of the side crew kind of um minion characters makes some passing comment of like, oh, she's kind of hot or something like that as a dig at that, um. But uh, but yeah, I have a feeling that they they will will not do bat titties, um, especially because it would be hard to to sort of make that look like anything fe feasible in the like sort of in their three D rendering style, um. Yeah. Uh, I do think it's funny that Sonic is like, all right, uh, I'm, I'm imagining a fishing hole. Big has to be there. There's, there's water and there's grass. It's big, big needs to be here in my mind right now. Hi, Margo. Uh, we're having a good time talking about Sonic characters. Um, gosh. It would be. I would. I would love it if in the third Sonic movie they snuck Big the Cat in there in the same way that in Sonic Adventure 2's cutscenes you can press the A button at certain points to make Big appear. Um, just just like sn sneak him in. Like he's not a character, but he's just a cameo. Oh, you can't beat Sonic Frontiers until you catch Froggy. I would love that. Once again, a plug for Big's Big Adventure. One of the best of the best Sonic fan games. I'm gonna put this out there for anyone who has not seen it or tried it yet. Big's Big World, sorry, not Big's Big Adventure. Ugh, make him appear like a heavy rain. John glitch. That would be. That would be great. Um, and Big the Cat in, in real life, I think. Well, okay. Imagine this. Like, he has sort of a a Totoro kind of appeal to him. Like, he's big. Like, he's he's tall, right? Like, at least by, like, Sonic Adventure standards compared... Because there's, like, human characters you can stand next to and stuff. Um, but, like... He's got that. Yeah, exactly. The he's got oh big the cat suit. Okay. I I was thinking of like, oh yeah, like the mascot suit. Exactly, Scott. Uh but you were thinking of something else, I think. Um mm. I need to think less about that. Uh okay. But yeah, I, I do think there'd be something friendly and fluffy about his large appearance. Um I think it just depends on how fast he's running at you. This <laughs> is in uh, in Sonic Adventures uh, story mode, there's a part where Tails finds Froggy and picks him up, 
And then he turns around and Big is running at him at full speed and just fuck like plows him over. Uh and I I think if I was in that situation I also would just like die on the spot. Um So it all depends, right? If I was like at a distance and I saw a cat that was that large fishing, then it's like, oh hell yeah. Like this is everything I could ever want in life. Uh, and so many things that I, I wish could be have just become real. Um, but but if he was just like, you know, what would he be? Maybe like six plus feet tall. He's got to be taller than that and, because Sonic's and, like four feet tall. So he's he's at least eight feet tall. Yeah. Then like, you know, almost as many feet wide, barreling at you at like 20 miles an hour. On foot. With a fishing that pole. wouldn't need to be scary. Yeah, and, and he's got his fishing pole out. And you're like, oh my god, it's it's sentient, you know? Here's a beast that understands how to use tools. Not only he's coming right at me. Not only understands how to use tools, it's proficient in some of them. Yeah. <laughs> New character idea. Bigger than a rat. <laughs> you know, I, I don't think I can think of any rat type characters in Sonic Media. Let me see if there's like an Archie character that is a like rat. The president was on one of the games. Are you calling the pre the United States president a rat? Yeah, man. <laughs> this is Renfield the Rodent. Sonic Wiki's. <laughs> That's a very vague term. There's a lot of rodents. Cat oh, he's a Ken Penders character. No, god damn it! Why did I lose my double jump? Fuck. Renfield T. Rodent. I wish that I could uh, spin dash hop like you can in Sonic Adventure 2, <laughs> where you infinitely go upwards. <laughs> Do you remember the gem power-ups that you could buy in uh, Sonic 06? Yeah. One of which would allow you to turn small and just infinitely jump? Yeah, it was pretty good. <laughs> uh, is there a mongoose? Yes. Uh, I don't... He's not really a Western character. I think there's a mongoose. Um, if I... If... It's either... Let's see. Rough or Tumble, I think, is one of them. The mongoose. Let me double check though. Oh, I could have skipped so much there. I wasn't fast enough. They're from the IDW. Rough the skunk and tumble the. Oh, they're both skunks. I didn't realize that. I thought one of them might have been like a mongoose or something. Well, let's see if there is a mongoose. Oh, yeah! I've... I can't believe I forgot. Mina mongoose. Mina mongoose is. Uh. She's a. Um a historied character in the series, let's say that. Uh, she was a, a Sonic uh, love interest for a while. Um, okay, I like Massive the Mongoose better than Mina. Um, but basically, like, Mina the Mongoose had, like, a, a cool, edgy boyfriend. She's in a band, but then, like, she and Sonic dated for a while. That's about the extent I remember. Um, you can check that wiki page if you want to know more. Wait, was but... she in Sonic Underground? Or... She was in Archie Comics. Um, yeah, so she she was like a Sonic main squeeze for a while. She's got a fun design. Um, there, there's a great panel that I, I hope I can find oh, uh, where she's like sticking her head out of a window and she says, I love Sonic the Hedgehog. And... Uh, as they're often to do in the comics, instead of just writing Sonic's name in text, his name appears as the logo. <laughs> it's, so it's just, I love them, the Sonic the Hedgehog logo. Let me see if I can find that. I know I have it saved on my phone, but I'm not going to be able to dig it up in time right now. Let's see. That's, oh, Google Images is not disappointing me. Um, let's just say that. Wait, 
they sliced off Sonic's Achilles deal. Oof. Uh, the, so, some of the Mina the Mongo stuff was also kind of in the same period where the Archie comics were looking very anime inspired. Um, that also <laughs> has a, has some funny effects. Um, oh, there was a change.org petition to put Mina Mongoose in the IDW comic. That's so funny. <laughs> is, Mina, is Mina Mongoose contenders? Uh, she's in the era. I don't. Let me check who was her creator. No, her, she's attributed to uh, Justin, Freddie, Gabriel, Carl Ballers, James Fry, and Patrick Spaziante. And so, yeah, uh, not not Ken on this one. So um, I'm I'm sure that Ken has written for at least some of the comics that she was in. There's like a decent chance, just based on the time you are in the comics, but um, but yeah, not not a Ken original. Uh, I found a a thumbnail for a YouTube video uh, with an uh, a big black and red arrow pointing at Mina Mongoose. It just says literally dies. <laughs> I'm just, I don't think so. I I'm assuming that the video is is being sensational about her, you know, not being a character anymore or whatever. But I don't know. I didn't read the comics. Um, I only ever had one of the comics. It was just a random one, and it was, I think, during the era of Zonic. Uh, it was also when Knuckles was green for a while. Um, I remember seeing those comics when I was a kid. Dies here. Um. Oh, I can't wait to talk to this old man. Kain Garfa. The fuck is Zonic? It's my OC, rookie. I made <laughs> Zonic. It's Sonic spelled with a Z. He's like if Goku. It's Goku going into the Sonic world. And the Z stands wow. for Dragon Ball Z. High and mighty. Zonic is Zonic. Anyway, Sage Zonic. says you're the one who can turn the cyber corruption into new power. Is that right? God, this guy can turn anti-energy into prop, uh, into to regular energy. I directed the installation of cyberspace and I ordered the construction of the Titans. I've been the guiding voice for and now people. you're a rock in a chair. He's not in a chair. You are insolent. Yeah, and I'm short on time. So if you want me to save your legacy, you're gonna have to fast track this new power process. Except that chaos is Shogun grandfather. <laughs> yeah, that raises the question of uh, who the the emperor was in chaos. Well, I guess that would have been maybe one of the kids. Oh, speaking of which, you saw an, uh, a, an elder echidna in the Knuckles trailer just briefly, which is pretty wild. What if it is... I, I'm assuming it's from a flashback, but I don't know. What if they were oh, just like, hello, it is me. Oh, fuck. It's on the tip of my tongue. What's Knuckles' dad's name? Locke? Oh, you're thinking of Locke. Yeah. yeah what if they're just like, it's me, God. Locke. Trademark by Kid Wonders. They couldn't. They physically couldn't. <laughs> that wasn't his voice. Yeah. Um. Reminds me of a uh, a golem. <laughs> oh. Walked away from you. You might have to try to, kind of, yeah, kind of grab and cling when you can. I'm gonna try to walk away from you. Nice, nice. Here we go. Let's fuck the pain away, boys. <laughs> This is the song that says fuck the pain away, but they censored it in the game. 
Hold on, this song fucking sizz. Some hard butt rock. Let's go. <laughs> what the fuck? I was nowhere near yep. him. Yeah. Okay, I need to get closer. Don't forget you can parry. Those are big spikes. Oh, they, they, they made it so you can't just hold it down. Yeah, yeah. I remember hearing that. Odd. You gotta get your timing down in this version. Jet alone. Man, I'm just. Oh yeah, that does look. Yeah, very much like. I forgot that's what they they called it. But indeed. I don't know. I don't know what the, the parry mechanics are. I think it, it's just a matter of timing. And don't forget you're on hard mode, which probably means the timing is more specific than it normally would be. I launched him up in the air with Silent. Fuck it. Nice. Oh, I slammed him down. Nice. Look at that crater. There we go. Fuck yeah. Nice. Let's go. Oh shit, he's doing the thing. He's doing his best bio lizard impression. <laughs> um, yeah, the ring meter is basically your health. It's both. Yeah, it will. Yeah, very much Osher's wrath uh, energy, Scott. <laughs> yeah, there's the control run. I think we fought this boss before, technically, right? Yeah. On the original playthrough. It's just adjusted now for the, the DLC. Yeah, the, the Ava comparisons are very apt. Um, the very, a whole lot of this game is very, like, shown in anime. Energy. <laughs> Something I've been thinking about, um, given that, like, oh my god, I oh, love he... that it being up in the air ends up being a problem the way it turns its body because of all the lasers. That's funny. The um, uppercutted me, too. But, uh, the, um, given this game's sort of more melodramatic plot and character interactions. I know it was, it was very startling for a lot of people, myself included. Um, and I was thinking, like, why is it that it's weird? It's not like this is the first Sonic game that's been dark. Um, and funnily enough, I think Shadow of the Hedgehog is the comparison that, that helps separate what the difference is. And then it's... Um, even in, in Sonic games before that have had, like, a darker, edgier plot to them, the Sonic characters themselves were still pretty much the, their their goofy, normal uh, attitudes. Like, oh. Oh. All right, next. <laughs> um, there's no way that there's any more out. So like in in Shadow of the Hedgehog, sure like, uh, you know Sonic says damn and that's weird, but um, but he's still kind of his like upbeat and uh, and cocksure sort of self, you know. He's he's like joking around about like ha, I would never get caught using a gun and you know, um, you know he's like oh, making jokes about Is the vehicular safety. Run? I think it is, yeah. 
He's joking about the vehicular safety of the, you know, of what Shadow's driving, you know, and stuff. He's like, he's still being like a goof. Um, whereas in this game, you know, Sonic yeah. is like sort of, he's behaving differently. I think that's kind of why it feels so different. Um, we have fought these dudes before, but they were easier. But we are also weaker, so... Hey, I just thought... Of, Grant, did, are you still on the same amount of rings as before? I hope not. <laughs> oh, oh you, you are. are! It really is a boss rush. I. This is another thing I remember hearing about. I have bet. I have a bad feeling that if you lose, you have to go all the way back. That's <laughs> awesome. So, uh... This is great. It, I, I know I've said it before and, and you won't want to hear it, but, um... No. If that's... No. I was going to say, I, if you want to switch the modes, then... I am, I am the new titular gamer. I have to do this. You're running on this fruit by the foot. I really like that someone's like, what would be a really good snack for children? And just like, let's put a bunch of corn syrup in a foot of... Oh yeah, the quintessential gamer, that's it. That's me. It wasn't me, but now it is. Oh, good save. Yeah, imagine if we had this, like, kind of fruit gummy, but you rolled it flat and long. And then... The like worst tape. part is that I could eat like three of them, and it is kind of fucking disgusting to think that like, ah uh, yes, I can have three feet of fruit. <laughs> Red die number five? Hell yeah, baby. Let's fuck up some ADHD shit, man. Let's go. Time to beat Wyvern. Don't and don't forget, you're on a timer, right? Yeah, so it's cause... not just about not taking damage. You, that's your time limit on all these bosses. Oh, I didn't even see that. Well, because you don't take damage when you get hit. You just... Yeah, it's just the timer slowing you down, so... Zed, did you watch the Knuckles trailer with us? Are you here for that? The link is, is up in the chat, if you've not yet seen it. God damn the fucking! So I'm gonna. I, there's no fucking way I beat this. Cause there's four of them, right? Yeah. At least. I guess I could have done the thing where I. Oh no! Yeah, I, I forgot. One of the things is you can't collect the rings. Mm -hmm. You don't have anyone to switch with. <laughs> um. This is not so much a race as it is a... Uh... What would you call that? It's kind of a mutual hit and run. Yeah, I do like that, yeah, when Sonic gets knocked back, he just kind of... <clears throat> freezes for a moment and then starts dashing back in. This is nuts. They wanted, they wanted children to do this. Mm-hmm. They were like, can a kid do a, a boss rush? I'm like, sure. Here he comes. I mean, again, you did set the difficulty to hard, so. Yeah, no, I am definitely not. This is definitely not. Let's see if I can suplex this one. Oh, I chained him up? What the fuck? When could I do that? <laughs> Here we go. I fixed it. I figured it out. <laughs> you gotta keep spamming this combo. Keep freezing time. You're in Phantom Rush now, too. You know what they say? You know what Soul Bad Guy says? What's he say? Projectiles are bullshit. <laughs> There's four. There's no way I win this. No way I win this. Look out. Uh, it's that attack from... What was it? We have a primal rage. Yeah. <laughs> Velociraptor's gonna 
hypnotize you. Oh, fuck, he did it faster. God, these songs are just such good butt rock, man. <laughs> I hope we get fucking content struck for these being on here. <laughs> I hope everyone's like, you can't listen to Sonic the Hedgehog songs on stream. You have to go to YouTube Music and listen to the official OST. <laughs> It does sound like Paramore. God damn it! Ooh, uh... Bobby thinks Ten Penders has been posting a lot recently. That excites me. Um... I didn't even see that. No, no, there is not. Um, this game is just mean. All right, here we go. Here we go. I just need. I now that I know that I'm on a timer. Ref, perfect parry will be the only way to parry text. Rings will be unavailable. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Out of the Colossus shit going on here. Oh no, those are important. All right, we're 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 just starting over. There's 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 zero ways we win with less with almost half our rings gone. Just impossible. All right. Okay. Here's here's a good thing. It, within the boss rush, uh, I think it's just the first three titans. Okay. 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 Uh. Why are you... You didn't send me to his hand last time, video game. I don't want to go to his hand, because then I have to go up this way. Cool. Alright, alright, alright. Show him the gamer hat! <laughs> oh, do I need to send the, the gamer hat? Yeah. Okay. Alright, that's it. that's it. Damn it, I can't even see him. Alright, yeah, in Sonic Forces, there's a hat that says Gamer on it. Um, you can unlock it, and it's the most important one. There it is. It's important to note that Sonic cannot wear that hat, but your Sonic OC can wear the hat. Cat's laying on my desk. Good luck time, baby. Yeah. Oh, uh, here's a fun thing that I'm reading from, from Bobby's review of uh, of this DLC. Um, easy mode apparently makes the timing window for perfect parries much more generous, but um, it, it, the, the ring aspect of it is still very hard. This is... I didn't get this last time. I just skipped this.
damn it. I just need to be fast. I need to just be fast at once. Pierce the heart of this bad bitch. <laughs> right, yeah, because you can't get rings here. Cool. That's just fucking mean. <laughs> if it if it ever happens to get very very bad, then don't worry, I can direct you to uh, a solution. It just so happens to be outside of the game. <laughs> they don't even like. They don't even like. Here here is like fifty rings. You know. You know. It's not even yeah. like. No consolation. Yeah. And that's not based on difficulty either. That's not a hard mode thing. Pinos. It's Sonic spelled backwards. Let's see. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, in in uh, Smash Bros, we love making up uh, names for all of the Sonic alt colors. Like um, gold the Flash. Gold the Flash. Yeah, it was the one that had the gold bracelets on. Um, there, there's Kynos, who was like the the grayish looking one. Um. Gold the Flash could throw a ring and then teleport to it. Kynos had... What was his powers? Was Kynos the one that's not quite as fast as Sonic? Not He can fly, but not quite as well as Tails. And he was strong, but not quite as strong as Knuckles. That might have been it. He was um, just all three of them, but like... Not as powerful. <laughs> Will Willem said, just so you know, if you cheat engine in more rings and it doesn't count, you aren't a true gamer. I'm not gonna do shit. I'm beating this on hard mode. Rookie said, man, I wish I was Chronic the Hedgehog right about now. You and so many fans. I wish I remembered the other Sonic uh, alternate color names that we had. Um, if Tucker was here, I bet he would remember more of them as well. I just remember Ryan off the cuff, cuff saying Kaidos, and we all yeah. flipped the shit. <laughs> we didn't even realize uh, it was Sonic spelled backwards. Yeah, the um, the Donkey Kongs uh, also, we had Cotton. names for all of the, all the Candy different Kong, color variants. Kush Kong. Yeah. yeah. Ma Bonsai Buddy. Yeah, Bonsai Buddy for the purple Donkey Kong. <laughs> it's like what the the rare royal red con or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see it. Oh, I fucked it up. That was too early. No, we yeah we we elected for Bonzi Buddy over Great Ape, unfortunately. The Great Ape is another good idea. Um, Great Ape's not real. What was the? Oh my god. Was, was the white one just Yeti Kong? Or do we have something more special for that? I, I think it was Yeti Kong. We should have named it Cocaine Kong, let's be real. <laughs> just white lightning. <laughs> no, my god! Uh, awful, awful. Okay. Alright. It's really alright, I just need a hundred rings. I just need a hundred rings for the last guy. The good news is I might be able to two cycle this guy. If I can just get this parry right here. That's so I'm I'm trying the thing is is he, he gets faster. And so I'm used to <laughs> trying to hit the faster one. Oh my god, this is fucking miserable. Yeah. Well, um while you work on this, 
Uh, here's a little nice thing that happened, a little optimistic news for once. Uh, Oklahoma School for the Deaf went ahead and made uh, one of their American Sign Language courses, the intro one, uh, free uh, to access uh, from February 12th until June 30th. So um, if you're at all interested in learning some sign language, uh, then uh, or one sign you can preload it from there. That one. Yeah. yeah, some some good news to share uh, on our screen. Why can't I move? Additionally, um, to kind of fill in the usual political rant part of the stream, uh, and also to keep it Sonic themed, uh, here's some art from Spoiled Skulls on with a Z at the end uh, on. Uh, on Tumblr. Uh, he's got a, a picture of Knuckles uh, uh, waving the flag of Palestine. Looks great. If you like Knuckles, there's some good armor. Alright, if, if I can get him down, I just need I can one cycle this pitch. I can one cycle this pitch. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> or two cycle, I suppose. Just gotta hit that. Hit that. All right, all right. Do we have enough time? Fuck it up. Here comes the fastball. Not his ass. Let's go. Oh, he does it twice. Damn it! He got caught. It's okay, surely you can take out the, the final boss in, in like 20 minutes. seconds, right? Yeah. Um. Sound. Here comes the second one. Good thing I practice fishing. Mm -hmm. Big caught you well. Or the big tulpa caught you well. The big. Oh my god. Yeah, I have another rocket. There's zero chance that I win this one. Um. Oh yeah. For for those who might not have been there earlier when we saw that cutscene, it turns out that Big the Cat in this game is not actually here on the Starfall Islands. Uh, it's uh, an illusion coming from Sonic's memory. Uh, like, so he's imagining Big being here. I think that's uh, a lie. Inside. I think I, I I refuse to believe that's true. <laughs> you think Sage is just so completely baffled by Big's existence here that she just made that up? Yeah. She just went around against her directly. I just think that Big is a is an interdimensional hey. traveler. <laughs> and they're like, well, we can't explain why he is, so we're just gonna lie about it. <laughs> Rookie had said, this is just the uh, Redoubly theme song. Uh, and Scott mentioned, someone counted their chaos before they had Their chouts before they had Oh! I had, I had, I've been had. I didn't, I didn't use context clues correctly. I would have lost points in the I step for that. Here we go. I'm get. Damn it! All right. At least this part isn't necessarily. You don't need. You need to a specific time. You don't yeah, you're damage. not ticking down. You just can't get damaged. You've got to not take damage here. God damn it! Huh. Miserable sometimes. 
So, um, after the uh, Ken Penders sort of Archie divorce uh, that had happened back in the day, um, Ken had pledged to, to take kind of his material and um, sort of repackage it as uh, the Lara Sue Chronicles. Um, basically, sort, sort of like airlifting his material out of the Archie comics in a, um, in a, a, a legally safe manner, um, and reproducing it, um, and, uh, and, well, the, there's something to be said about the art, um, I think that anyone who, who looks at it, maybe can, can surmise their own thoughts on it, but, um, anyways, it's been kind of vapor for a very long time. It's kind of hot air that we've heard, like, uh, yeah, uh, it's, it's, uh, Lara Sue, like, it, ironically, like, Mary Sue, but I, I think it's maybe more supposed to be, like, a Superman kind of riff where they do, like, how they do the names of Kryptonians, um, but uh but yeah it, it's very funny that the the naming convention kind of ended up like that um oh what oh my cat is taking screenshots with oh. <laughs> gamer cat um and so so yeah that yeah that character Lara Sue from those sonic comics is mostly unchanged you know is kind of being pulled out of that um in this in this artistic recreation republishing effort um again it was it was the kind of thing that was like ken penders kept saying like oh this is happening it's a thing that's gonna happen and uh and had very little proof of it happening for long stretches of time but apparently the first proof copies been manufactured um i'm reading this off of the thanks ken penders blog um but now now that it's it's more material than it ever has been. Um, Bobby posted a poll and said, "Should I pre-order the the book from Penders in order to get my name immortalized in special thanks page, <laughs> or is that a bullet I should dodge?" Uh, and the poll is, uh, is uh, like seventy five percent do it. Uh, she and, had, uh, she has to. What did she yeah, can't she did. Yeah. She posted a picture of the webpage that says order received and said, Well, I have nothing if not committed to the bit. It's just... It, it is done. In, in case you are curious, uh, I'm gonna... Post the post that I'm talking about. Yeah, here's a... There it is, you can look at it yourself and see what, what um... What that looks like, and what Bobby has to say about it. Yeah, that one thing I will mention from the post is that uh, Knuckles. Uh, has been remade into a new character named uh, Knox. Why? A apostrophe Knox. Because, you know, you can't really just use Knuckles. Right, no, I get it. But Knuckles but like, was there, and so... I just like that... No, he, he's, like, he's like, I'm just going to make my fucking... Yeah. Bluffles. Yeah, yeah. I'm legally really sidling along. Knuckles. In the Bluckles spot. Stuckles. What do you call, um. What do you call, um, Knuckles when he's wearing a Pilgrim outfit? Um. Historical reenactor? <laughs> no, Buckles. <laughs> <laughs> 
What do you call Knuckles when he's acting out of character? Uh, Buckles? Chuckles. Uh, what do you call... Um, what do you call... Knuckles, but he's... He's doing a really quick backflip. What? Back Knuckles? <laughs> hey, I don't know what you're doing. Who <laughs> <laughs> um What do you call uh not just being breastfed? Suckles. You mean art front page material? <laughs> <laughs> uh what do you call what do you call what do you call Scott said what do you call Knuckles when he wins the lottery? <laughs> that was the exact one I was about to <gasps> say! <laughs> <laughs> Friends. Friends moments. What do you call Knuckles, but he's a headed Simpsons character? <laughs> What's that? Grunkles. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard of Grunkles Grunkle Simpson? Yeah. <laughs> or Grackle Simpson. Shit. Yeah. I got it wrong. <laughs> What do you call um, Knuckles? But he can't get out of the. He can't get out of traffic. Are we gonna do Stuckles again? <laughs> Wait, did we already do Stuckles? I I I. Something you said earlier. I said you would be Stuckles. Oh. But... Yeah. No. Yeah. I. I that, this one's real. Um. What do we call? Um, What do we call Knuckles, but he's making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with his favorite jelly? <laughs> I know what it is, but tell us. Smuckles. <laughs> um, what do we call Knuckles, but he um, delivers goods and services using highways? Yeah. Truckles. <laughs> What do you call Knuckles after he's, uh, invested in meta? <laughs> Schmuckles? Oh no, I was gonna say Zuckles. <laughs> <laughs> That's better, but he's also Schmuckles. Yeah, he is a Schmuckles. Fuck! Ugh, dude, this one, this one sucks. Do you think, do you think Eggman has the rhetorical ability to convince Knuckles to invest in cryptocurrency. If he if it somehow will protect the master and like knuckles. You see, you need to diversify your portfolio. The master emeralds can only bring so much value. If you invest in cryptocurrency, your thirty dollars that you have in your wallet can be turned into one million dollars almost overnight. The master emerald can't be secure until it's on the blockchain. <laughs> what is this? Blockchain. <laughs> nice. Bro, it's ass. So long, gay Bowser. That's what you gotta do to centipedes in your apartment. Whoa, that was worthless. Don't do that. <laughs> because it just brings you back to this part of the stage. Yeah. It's really cool looking, but... Ugh. What do you call Knuckles who has sex? <laughs> I don't know, let me ask Ken. <laughs> <laughs> no, what? Buckles. Come on, man. We avoided it for so long. No. <laughs> I thought you already said buckle. <laughs> no, Scott. <laughs> Four heads. That means uh, how many how many babies he's having, right? Seven for kids. His nuclear family definitely not losing to anything else. <laughs> Ooh. 
What do you call knuckles after you hit him with a baseball? Uh, it depends. Or do you have like peg outs? Well, it doesn't matter because he just struck once anyway. No. He struck. What do you call knuckles? That's really good at hockey. What? What do you call knuckles? That's really good at hockey. What's that? Knuckles. <laughs> knuckles as written by Mark Twain. <laughs> What? Knuckles is written by Mark Twain. Huckles. <laughs> That's good. Dude, give me a missile to fire at this bitch. There we go. Rookie's got a Huckles. <laughs> Oh, it's coming right at you, Duckles! <laughs> no, no luck on the boss rush, but we have been doing a lot of Knuckles wordplay. Which is basically like winning, so... Yeah, but I'm about to lose again. God, it's so hard! <laughs> it's so hard. I think I'm out of words that rhyme with uck. <laughs> Drunk. Scott said, What do you call Knuckles after spending the night out in the town, friends? Drunkles. It's pretty good. I really wish I could control this better. I think I think I can make this faster. Got this. I can get the quick silent. God, that one's so hard. Look, <laughs> he said I was doing some laundry, then I got stuck on that. Wait, why did my well, quick side loop not work? No! If you want me to look up damage optimization, then let me know. I think I got it. I don't really think the damage is, like, I don't think optimizing damage is necessarily what you have to do. I think you just gotta parry when you can. Yeah. Good eye, Scott. Yeah, I must just keep the rods in there and then protrude them when they need them. Sometimes it can be a pain if you want to animate something to have it not be there and to add it later. Um, you're working with different skeletons and different bones, and so that makes it difficult to animate without just entirely reloading a different model. And so if they can just hide it uh, or obscure it somehow, then that makes that easier. Um, so for example, you, you know the, the birdie project that I had. Um, uh, the, the skeletons weren't compatible because uh, uh, there were certain animations where uh, the bones didn't all have the same names and um, like I, I was basically using certain different model shapes uh, instead of like doing deformers on the ears um, to do like the flapping animation and stuff. Um, and in general, I was all sorts of nasty things to do that 3D model to make it work the way it does. That would prevent skeletons from being compatible with each other. But, but yeah, one of the issues was like, if I wouldn't have the, um, if one version of the uh, skeleton would have, say, you know, just one type of ears, 
and the other one would have multiple types of ears, then I wouldn't be able to just use the same animations with both of those skeletons, because it'd be like, hey, where are these other ear bones that this one animation has? Um, and so yeah, if they can just keep the rods in there, hidden, just kind of unseen, then that means that uh, it's easier for that data to just sort of be talked to all in the same way. The data's all gone. Database, database. Uh, the normal log horizon. Yeah. Good times. Yep. No. It's not quite what I wanted, but it's about a, a little less than a third. We take this. We take this. This is this is on track as long as I don't fuck anything up. I didn't want to do that, but <laughs> like you would think they would just give you like twenty rings, even twenty, right? Like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they they decided they're gonna balance it. They're like, you know what, four hundred rings is all you're gonna need. They lie. Uh, <laughs> they really wanted this to be the Dark Souls of uh, Sonic games. <laughs> yeah. And the worst part is about this guy, and I don't want to jinx it. Knock on. But you gotta do his stupid fucking, like, little tournament, like, runner section here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It takes a long time just to get to the fighting. And if you get hit, you probably just lose, right? Mm-hmm. Like, it's not hard to dodge, but it's definitely one of those things where you're like, what if? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree, Scott. If you can keep that under 140, you get a chance. Fruit by the foot or fruit roll up? Uh. I was always a fruit by the foot guy. I had a problem eating fruit roll up because I just wanted to shove the whole thing in my mouth. Yeah! And I was like, why should I wait to eat this corn starchy, or this corn syrupy tree when I yeah. should just shove the entire thing in my mouth? Like I'm eating a slab of paper. Like I'm eating the. the postcard from a fruit based vacation. <laughs> Scott said roll ups are a scam when by the foot exists. <laughs> Rookie said fruit roll ups were awful. No. FBTF? -F -B -T -F? Excellent. I love the idea of shortening fruit by the foot. FBTF. <laughs> There's also the benefit of being able to, to conduct a small amount of, like, lunchroom. Wow. Uh lunchroom offense that you can you get one whip out of the fruit by the foot before you eat it. The best part is when you and your homies ate, on, ate the opposite end of the fruit by the foot <laughs> until you were uh, until your lips met in the middle and you got a little homie kiss. Yeah. We call that homie sexual. Um... Yeah, I agree, Scott. The tongue tattoos never work. It would just blob up. Fruit Rule of Bird. Very tangy. They had names like Electric Blue, and by god, that thing tasted like electricity to child makes. I love the taste of electricity. Yeah, Who would yeah. say that? Who would say what? What I just said? Me. Yeah. Fuck you. No. <laughs> but like it. 
What character am I thinking of from fictional media that, like, that feeds on electricity? Pikachu, maybe? God, I could not. There's so much shit happening there. <laughs> oh, that's right. You can unzip a fruit by the foot and feel like you had two of them. Static shock. Let's slip it up. Comes. Comes the second one. Nice. Destroy this beast. That does the Ooh. most damage. FT F Avatar <laughs> Damn it. Avatar FBTF. <laughs> Cut said Kingdom Hearts 2 final boss ripoff. Um Hey, did you know that there were uh, novels about Kyoshi in it from, from Yeah, the and they're really movie? edgy. Oh uh, yeah. Not not really edgy, but it, it, it reminds me of like People being like, wait, couldn't you do this theoretically with this kind of bending? Um, <laughs> and it, it, it definitely is like, well, since it's novels, we can do the whack shit like freezing people's blood, right? Yeah. yeah. Or like putting water inside someone and then freezing it. Um, it's yeah. very, it's very. So is it like adult? It's young adult still, it... but like. In like the uh, same sense that it's like, oh, it's it's violent, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, there's like Kiyoshi. a shonen, like shonen jump style. Yeah, it, it, it's 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 basically like all those lunchroom talks you had in middle school about like, all right, but like real talk, if Avatar was rated R, what could they do? And it's that. Um, yeah. and. Uh, it's oh fucking hell, Damn. and it's also very gay. Ah, huh? Yoshi's love interest is a Fire Nation gal. Ah, cool. Um, how how new are those books? Uh, like, obviously, like, they've couple probably years been around old. for a while. Yeah. Okay, I wasn't sure if it was like as old as the graphic novels or if it was relatively new. Finish it. Star Scorch Radagon. I thought I missed that. Man. Came fast. Kill. And yeah, next year, the new Avatar The Last Airbender animation animated series comes out. Yep. Um, How's the Econo Circus Sonic? And I believe the the movie comes out this year too. Uh. <laughs> Scott said, "If there's an audiobook, Jennifer Hale better be the narrator." That'd yeah. be dope as hell. Um. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. You can do this. Maybe. Oh. oh. Oh my god, that took out seven. I, I, I lost. I'm done. I'm done in rings. Well, at least figure out how you're gonna how you're gonna get back up to this dude. Okay, it's rails. Oh my god, this <laughs> is. At the very least, on this section, being able to pick your rings back up means you can at least get up there. You know, as soon as you go supersonic, it's over. But. Put old penis feet. I, I, it's just like, fucking hell. Yeah, okay.
You would think they would give you, like... Like I said, it feels like they should be giving you, like, 50 rings just from this. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's interesting. For that, you didn't lose any rings while it was waiting there. Um, oh which means God. that, like, in a way, you're really almost not getting hurt when you get hit by that cutscene. All right, I have probably time for one more. Yeah. One more. We made it tonight. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. All right. I, I, I just, I can't fuck. If I, if I can get tonight and not take any damage from getting up tonight. Um, I can beat this guy and... Nice. All right, hold on. I want to check something. Uh, I wanted to see how to do that. The... The where I do the little the little blast. I wonder where You I... mean the, the rapid kicks? It's one of the shoulder buttons. No, I'm talking about where I the the like part where where I shoot like the the little crosses. You mean where you, you do a spin kick and it shoots a projectile like a wind splash? No, it's... Ah, oh, fuck. Um, it's like, you do like a little strafe. And, um... I know it's A, but... Um... I mean, if... It, it's the one where you do, you, you, like, strafe and you shoot a bunch of, like, cross lasers. Okay, yeah. Because it did, it did insane damage. Scott only now got uh, the notification that we're streaming onto his phone. <laughs> Gotta love that. See if I can dodge this. Because if you dodge this, it, it's so much. It, this takes so much of your rings because you have. Right, it's just such just a. Just stood there. Cross slash is, uh, I think, right trigger, holding, and then uh, A. Yes, it is. Okay. Not quite. Quite. Oh my god. Do I have to wait until he hits the ground? Oh my god. Why? Oh my god. That's terrible. Alright, so we don't want to end it on there. Alright. But now that I know how to do cross slash. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so it's right it, trigger it. A. Yeah. 
No, it wasn't better this time because I ended with 269. And I have 251. 18. The guide I'm looking at says that you should have more than 250 rings if all went well. So you're at least still in the threshold of reasonability. Try to aim for 150 uh, for this next one. Because cross slash is it did nuts damage that one time. <laughs> So you said right trigger A. Do I have to be yeah. phantom rushing? Um, I don't know. Do you want me to tell you what other people suggest for the, the damage yeah. stuff? Uh, yeah, they say get phantom rush as soon as possible and then quick side loop um, and then start uh, Comboing into crom uh, stomp and cross slash. So like, combo mixed with stomp is what people suggest. I think kind of like the um, one of the earlier trials you did. I think we found out that helped with that too. On the one where you had to like take out the four enemies in a short amount of time. Yeah. I really wish they would just put you into the boss fight because, like, I get it. You you're like, oh, get the get the fucking chaos emerald, but like, it sucks. Mm -hmm. What are these? All these bosses for snack. <laughs> oh, it's fruit by the foot vibrant. Can you beat his fruity goodness? We never did. Did we ever ask how Froyo, how the the Sonic fruit snacks were? Was it Froyo that had the Sonic fruit snacks, or was that someone else? I don't know. So I have a hundred, I have a hundred rings to beat this bitch. <laughs> I really like this Steam community comment. I think I went bald before learning the stomp was the most powerful attack. Once that happened, it was no sweat. But then again, they were not on hard mode. It just takes so long for him to start shooting missiles. Mm -hmm. You gotta do this stupid like cutscene. You gotta wait for a missile to be able to actually hit you. I'm trying to think what the other snack tie-ins would be. Um for the first boss, it would definitely be those, um, the little snack breadsticks that you can dip in the cheese or, or they have, like, the cookie version. This is fucking disgusting. <laughs> okay. As long as I don't get parried out of... As long as I don't get parry, if I, if I don't fuck up this parry.
mm, with knights, a uh, big sort of chain sword thing that would be like a nerd's rope tie-in. Fuck! Why? Ah! Why didn't? Tail swipe is just mean. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got uh, I saw it coming. As they say, let's go. Man, this is so tight. It's ridiculous. All right, all right, all right. We might as well see how we can do this tonight, just to like. Yeah. Make it as far as you can. You don't lose lives. <laughs> Ugh. Do you prefer this style of supersonic boss fight over like the the ones in the other three Sonic games? Yeah. I can't wait till you can play um, the the one from Sonic Generations. The final boss in that is just atrocious. Why the fuck? I don't have I don't have enough rings for it even. Fucking hell. Something we'll have to remember then when we come to fight this boss later is that that shockwave keeps coming out even after it's put the hand down. It's pretty stupid if you ask me. The first time that cutscene played, I thought you got overly eager and just jumped off the rail to try to speed strat it. <laughs> the nerd's rope come cometh. Yep. Go slap something before you die. Ugh. All right. Next time. Next time. Next time. Uh, thank you all for joining us. If you like what you listen to, you feel free to subscribe to our Twitch if you haven't already. We play video games all the time. Yeah, it's fucking nuts. It's nuts. It's stupid. They're like, we made a hard Sonic game. It's stupid. Uh. <laughs>
Yeah, thank you for Disney joining Mormons. me. Yeah, come 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 watch our anime podcast where we talk about shit. Like like Seven Spellblades, which is their last one. We haven't done it for a while. It's hard. Uh it's well, we also promised that the next one would be a Scott Pilgrim review including all of the media that they've released so yeah. far. So maybe 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 we, we kind of ourselves Maybe we here. resend that and we do Grand Blim and just go from there. Yeah. We you'll you'll find out when it's out. Yep. All right. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Make sure to subscribe to us on Twitch and on YouTube or don't do any of that because we are not your dad.